Dear Next President, did you know that around 45,000 people die every year in the U.S. because they can't afford health care? 44 million people in the United States have no health care insurance, and 38 million have inadequate health insurance, meaning that more than half the population doesn't have the means to go to the hospital, get regular checkups, or pay for surgeries that are necessary for their health. So not to much surprise, the U.S. has the highest rate of deaths caused by people not having health insurance to cover the cost of needed treatments. Whoever the next president may be, you have to understand that this is unacceptable. How can you expect death rates to go down when prices for health care are going up? Next president, did you know that one surgery can cost upwards of $10,000 without health insurance? That's astonishing and not okay. We understand our population tax dollars are going to healthcare like Medicare or Medicaid, but these organizations only provide healthcare to about 57 million people in the U.S. per year. Our population is 325.7 million, so this is definitely not working as well as it should be. You need to either make revisions to the way these health insurance organizations work, offer better options, or above else, offer universal healthcare. One way that we could lower the cost of healthcare is by making it so that all citizens have the right to healthcare. This would make it so that health insurance companies would have to keep their prices affordable to make sure everyone has the option to have healthcare. Too many people in the country are dying because of this country's inability to support its citizens. Please find a way to help keep our population healthy and find a way so they're not afraid of going broke on a surgery that could save their life. 